Hello everyone, I'm Shay and welcome to Blissful Divination. Today, we are going to ask a question about vaccine passports. Okay, I saw on the news that some countries will might be requiring uh, people to have some sort of vaccine passport in, their, in order to travel inter internationally. And I saw that there's pros and cons for it. And so I thought I would ask the cards, um, is it going to become a thing? Are vas vaccine passports going to become a required thing in the near future to travel internationally? Let's take a look. We're going to start off with regular playing cards because they lend more to yes, no answers. And then we're going to ask clarifiers from Tara. Okay, here we go. And we get no but, okay? So we get a no but, a qualified no, which means a no but there's a stipulation. Um, first of all, they're going to be worried about how would they pay for such a program and would they have to like get into a committee and like would there be like some kind of world thing like the UN with the UN? Like they're, they're thinking about like how would that even work? So... They think that it's not good business. Like, they don't want um, to hamper the recovery of the travel and tourism industry. Do you know what I mean? Putting stipulations on it, that's going to make it more inconvenient, they feel. And they feel like more people will not want to travel to their country because of it or something like that. So... They think, no, they don't think it's a good idea. Some some people, I don't think it's going to happen because most of the people think it's a bad idea. And number three, it's just too much to, you know, we got work smart, not hard. They're like, no, 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 that's just going to be too much. So I think that they're going to have um, something, but not a passport. Let's ask Tara. I'm going to use the regular uh, Rider weight, small size, you know, hand size, easier to shuffle. Okay, and so we're going to ask them about these uh, passports, vaccine passports. Vaccine passports. You guys, it's cold. Storms. Freezing my tuck yourself. <laughs> They've been getting snow everywhere, you guys. Like crazy, crazy snow on the East Coast. Okay. All right. First of all, it's not going to be a, a, a thing because nobody wants to police it. Like, are they going to leave that in the hand of the hands of the border agencies? Like, like it's really about administration and the can of worms. I feel like they really don't want to put it. They, they, they are discussing it, but they really don't want to do it because as they're finding out, it's going to probably be a can of worms. And and what's crossing them is what about countries taking advantage or companies like uh, countries, big countries it's working for, but smaller countries is not working for. Um, I feel like more of a first world versus third world perspective. Um, there's concerns that um, big countries, rich countries, uh, will somehow advantage with, with a vaccine passport than with the other. So it would create another inequality in some way. They're going to keep working on something. They're, they're, they're working on, like I said, they're in the talks. 
they are working on something. I think it's going to be more like, like just carry your vaccination record. You know how like you get vaccinated for school and you can't, like your kids can't go to school unless they're vaccinated. I think it's something like that. They're just going to be like, show your vaccination record or, or something like that. Or have a piece of paper saying your latest vaccination. Something like that. Something nominal. You know, before they were waiting to see if it was actually going to be needed, what they're going to get, was it going to get under control or whatever. And like I said, this is my card for the coronavirus. And I feel like um, in the past they were looking at, you know, watching to see what it was going to do. Um, and they weren't quite sure. But now, um, you know, they, they got to figure out about the people. It's all about. You know, what would they tell the people? How would they present this message to the people, you know? Because people are concerned about things like, um, well, that, that just gives it here. Like with with the um, Seven of Cups, there are so many different avenues, okay? You got of problems that could come with this, okay? You have the anti-vaxxers, okay? Are they prepared to say no anti-vaxxers? You can't travel internationally because you refuse to have Im be immunized. I don't see that happening. Um, or what about um, well, what about vaccine privilege? Oh, you know, so far only the richest nations and the you know the and only the most vulnerable of them, which would be the elderly or the older people over 65 or whatever, however the, the order is, they get to travel and the rest of us don't because we haven't had our vaccine. It's things like that. They're they're concerned about those types of conversations. You know, um, I know our prime minister, he's hesitant. He doesn't really want to do it because he's talking about uh, vac the the problems that can be with, you know, with this, you know, with people who don't have access to legal documents, who can't get government ID um, easily. But let's see. And the way everybody sees it, they they want to go back to how it was, right? They want to they want to forget about this. As soon as this comes out of control, do you know how bad they want to put it behind them and just go back to making money? They want to go back to the good old days. You know, and everybody else is be like, yay, you know, um, you guys are so great for thinking of us, you know, is it really? Because I got some ideas. I got some ideas. You know, I don't think it's all great. I think some, you should be, I have to show some type of proof. And the only reason why I say that is because this thing is mutating as they want to do. And we don't know how worse the mutation can get if that makes any sense now hear me out right before 2020 did we think there was going to be some like super pandemic coming around killing people highly contagious no we did not for it so it's not that far-fetched for me to say that there can be a variant of this that is pretty nasty nastier than what we know because i mean last year we were like ugh, coronavirus and now this year we're just like oh this coronavirus is you know, 10 times more contagious than last year's coronavirus. And we're just like, <laughs> really? So, uh-uh. What are they afraid of? They, they're afraid that governments are going to pass this, right? They're, people are afraid that they're going to pass this. Why? Because it's going to be a PR nightmare. You think you got these anti-mask people? You think those anti-mask people, the anti-vaxxers, you think all those people are going to get behind and be like, uh, and all the people who are have vaccine mistrust? Come on. They got money too. In the end, I think they'll just wind up having a whole bunch of legal problems and keep fighting with people. It will be a big source of contention if they were indeed to require this. Now, come on here with Mama Shay. Let me tell you what I'm thinking. First of all, if you have to get a passport to travel internationally, how hard is it to get a vaccine report? That's what I'm saying. Come on. That's not an excuse that I will buy. I'm just saying because if you can get a passport, you can get a daggone immunization record. It's not that difficult if you already have access to a passport. Okay? I think that there should be uh, barriers reduced to people 
Uh, and the only reason why I feel like this is this. I feel like that's about like informed consent. Do you know what I mean? Like you can you can make a consent. Like I said, I don't want to go to this country because they have this liberal policy. Like they're not their paperwork is not right. I don't know if you know. I don't know. We don't know what's going on around there, and they might be some new type of stuff. I'm just saying you have to ask these different questions when you travel now and in future. Um, and I think that there should be some type of proof just to say that you have been vaccinated. Why? Because you don't want to be carrying no variant into some other people's country, killing them up, do you? I mean, or would you want somebody with a strange variant coming into the country if they haven't had um, proof of being vaccinated? These are real concerns. It's, it, it sounds all cruel and whatever until your grandma got it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I'm not making a judgment against those who do or do not want to have the vaccine. But I think that if you want to travel and go to other people's countries and homes, that they should have some assurances that you are indeed a conscious, mindful traveler. Mindful that this disease kills people. Conscious that you also know that and that you have love for the world and yourself and your family and everybody and your fellow human being but that's neither here nor there so that's my take on it i don't think that they're going to do it i think some countries may have to have you have a, a like a paper or something proof of vaccination but a vaccine passport that's internationally recognized and everybody agrees upon i don't think that's going to happen um but it's it's good for discussion. I mean, how do you feel? What do you guys think? Do you think that they should make a vaccine passport or have some sort of accountability uh, when people travel internationally coming into your country or you going to another country? Or do you think, like, get the shot and let's keep it moving? Or do you think, like, hey, hey, now, we're being a little hasty on this vaccine talk. <laughs> These vaccine passport talk, too. Okay, so... Thank you so much for sticking with me, you guys, and watching to the end of the video. Please give me a thumbs up so we can help this channel get recognized. Also, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. You're back again. <laughs> and if you're not back again, you're here now. So you might as well go and subscribe. I got more topics that we talk about. I mix it up. I don't know. I don't. Do this. I do current events. I don't necessarily just do politics or just you know celebrity or anything. I mix all of my readings up so I do current events so as always you guys I want you to have a great day be blessed and I will see you in the next video bye